Hello again, Guardians, and welcome back to another Destiny episode. Before we get started, I'm going with 1,000 silver this week on the channel, or a Destiny emblem from the Bungie.net store. To enter in for this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed, show your support by liking the video, and leave a comment down below in reference to Destiny 2, or the Age of Triumph, or the information showcased in this video. Also, I'd like to say that I announce the winners every Tuesday with the first Destiny uploaded video of the week, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video to learn the winners. To get into this video now, we have a bunch of ornaments to go over, and it actually all starts with a trailer, so enjoy the trailer on the official Twitter page of Destiny the Game. Today, and tomorrow, and every day, you fight for us. You have shown me what it is to hope. We thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget. First thing I'd like to mention is that the Twitch reveal for this week is a Bungie livestream event happening Wednesday, March 22nd at 10 a.m. PDT. So Eastern Standard Time is going to be 1 p.m. So stay tuned for all of that great news and information on the Bungie livestream event. Also, don't worry, I will be announcing and uploading the Bungie livestream event on my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that as well if you have to miss it for work or babysitting or something along those lines, or maybe even school. And there you have it, Guardians. That is the live stream reveal trailer showing off a bunch of ornaments for the game being implemented with the Age of Triumph. Now, let's go over the trailer again and talk about some stuff in more detail on what the armor looks like and actually get to look at it, not be rushed through it with a trailer. Starting off, we have the Hunter from the Vault of Glass. As you can see, the cloak has some particle effects down at the bottom and also at the top of the base of the skull. Alongside that, the left arm has a little bit of Vex material on it and has a little bit of blue aura coming off of it. Let's look at it today, in a little bit more detail. and tomorrow and every day, you fight for us. This image shows off the Vex armor on the left arm a little bit more in depth. And as you can see, it's kind of robotic in nature, but you still have your normal arm present. That changes though. What it is. With the left arm distinguished from the right arm, you can actually see a few changes. The right arm is actually fully robotic, and the left leg is fully robotic as well. Also, the chest piece itself resembles a lot of what the Vex armor normally looked like before all the ornaments were implemented. So I'm kind of wondering if this chest piece has an ornament on it or not. Moving what onward, we have the Crota's End Armor. The Crota's End Armor can actually be showcased a lot better with this image I have, and there you have it. That's the Warlock on the right, Titan in the middle, and the Hunter on the left. And as you can see, the armor looks very, very hive-like. With the green aura, you definitely know it's Crota's end. The green aura always resembled Crota, and you had different auras resembling Oryx. So it made it a huge difference to have the green aura for this armor with the ornaments. Also, personally, my favorite armor set so far showcased is actually going to have to be Crota's end armor. It looks awesome. Originally, back in year one, my favorite armor set was Crota's End also, but with the ornaments now, I think hands down, it's my most favorite and prized possession to have Crota's armor above all other armor pieces. Moving onward to the trailer, we actually have a little bit more to discuss. Right there is a little bit of what the King's Fall armor would look like for the Warlock. Next up, we have three Guardians here, and it's going to be the Crota's End on the left, Wrath of the Machine Warlock on the right, and in the middle is what might appear to be the King's Fall Warlock as well. I actually think all three of these are Warlocks, so moving onward. Going back just a little bit, this is going to be King's Fall Titan set. This is going to be the ornament that we get for the King's Fall raid. And honestly, this armor is pretty cool as well. This is going to be the Vo the uh, Vogue 
the VOG or Vault of Glass armor with ornaments for the Warlock. The blue light stream tentacles coming off of the back. We've got the particle effects just like the Hunter Cloak. And we have a robotic arm here. And it pretty much looks like we're cyborg. And this is what everybody has been excited about. So Vex Ornament. There it is in plain view. That is what the Vex Ornament looks like. Now we can actually zoom in just a little bit. Zooming in we can see it a bit better. And there it is. Now let's continue on with the trailer. Again, there is the King's Fall Titan armor set, and we know it's the Titan because he's shoulder charging. And then we have a better image of the VOG Warlock armor set. We thank you, Guardian. And that is not all. We have more to talk about. So let's go back to the images. So here we go. Here's the Crota's End armor set. Here are all the armor sets. And right here in the middle is actually going to have to be the Titan for the VOG. So we actually can look at the Titan for VOG. We can look at the Warlock for Crota's End from the back. We can look at the Hunter again. We can also look at the ornaments, obviously, for the Wrath of the Machine. Wrath of the Machine. But then here is going to probably be King's Fall. We also have the front view for the Hunter itself from the Vault of Glass. And this is a very important thing because this was showcased for our first image into the realization that we had ornaments for the Vault of Glass armor. Particle effects down at the bottom. As I said before, Fully cyborg arm on the left or the right, whichever way you're actually perceiving the image. And then you have the left leg fully robotic as well. And then we have a picture of the Vex. Obviously, Vex ornaments are very prized because a lot of people have been wanting a Vex ornament. And I've also been wanting Vex Mythic Class to come back. And that basically ends up our video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. It shows off the ornaments of the game. Really exciting stuff. I cannot wait for the remastered raids. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions? Leave the comments down below in the comment section. And also, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, share it with your friends, and also enjoy the trailer one last time. Stay violent. Be privileged. We'll see you all in the next episode. Today and tomorrow and every day, you fight for us. You have shown me what it is to hope. We thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget.